So this problem says to find the exact value without a calculator, and we're looking for sine of 11 pi over 2. So what I like to do whenever I'm finding like the sine or cosine of some kind of angle with a, denom with a specific denominator is I like to draw a little unit circle, keeping in mind that the sine of any angle is equal to the y-coordinate on the unit circle. So if we draw our unit circle and we find the point of this angle, then we take the y-coordinate and that would be the sine. So starting out with thinking about our unit circle, let me just draw a little circle, and I apologize for my bad drawing skills. Okay. So if we're starting with something pi over 2, if we start here at the positive x-axis, this would be 0 pi over 2. So we can think of this like it's 0, but if we want to think of it as a multiple of pi over 2, it would be 0 times pi over 2. So where does 1 pi over 2 happen? It happens up here. 1 pi over 2, since 1 pi over 2 is just the same thing as pi over 2. And then when we get over here to 180 degrees, or a full, like a straight line away, this would be at 2 pi over 2. And on the unit circle, it's just labeled as pi, but I'm keeping everything as over 2 because I think it's helpful in figuring out where 11 pi over 2 is. So if we continue, if this is 2 pi over 2, then here is 3 pi over 2. And then back um, to the starting point is to 4 pi over 2, which is the same thing as 2 pi. So if we keep going around, this would be 5 pi over 2, and then 6 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, 8 pi over 2, 9 pi over 2, 10 pi over 2, 11 pi over 2. So we finally get to our special point of 11 pi over 2 is here is coterminal with 3 pi over 2. So what we need to see here is what is the coordinate? Because we, we need to find the y coordinate will give us our exact sine value. So the coordinate here is the x value is 0, the y value is negative 1, and you can look on your unit circle if you need to remember how to find the coordinates, but when we're on the y-axis, the x is 0, and we're down at the very bottom, that's a y of negative 1, so the sine of 11 pi over 2 is equal to negative 1. And that's it. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments or send me an email, which is down in the description. I also have some information in the description about that I do private tutoring and I can offer a free 30 minute trial if you'd like to try that out. And um, I also have some information about the digital pen that I use to write on the board. If you would like to do any um, online tutoring, I do suggest that it can be very helpful to have a digital pen so that you can also write on the board. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.